this is a wonderful day, but we risk going back in time. Freedom is at risk because of fear. We are being told that our safety depends on the ability of the state to see what we do at all times. Our laws may require that we're given the opportunity to object, but technology allows governments to circumvent this. You cannot object to something that you do not know is happening. There is no loud knock on the door. Instead, miles away, equipment stores the information on our communications. This is at home. When we go around to places like this, we carry the Stasi in our pockets. So, <clears throat> despite this, we can still come to places like this for now. This is not the case everywhere. Elsewhere, a gathering like this would be met with tear gas and bullets. And the penalty for blogging is death. If you care about Iran, Syria, Belarus, Egypt, Thailand, Oakland, California, look to your own governments. Dictators point to them. They purchase the equipment that is required by our governments. Lawful intercept technology may exist alongside freedom here, but it does not elsewhere. At places like the Tor Project and aided by hackers all over the world, we're working against this technology, but this is not enough. We need the law on our side as well. We need to take the profit out of aiding dictators. So, also, free Allah. <laughs> there is a man in uh, going in military detention right now. He marched in Tahrir Square. He also went to Oakland, California, and marched with the protesters in the United States. And he's been held by the military. The struggles are not over. Thank you.